these two products, the Natio Eye Pencil and the Revolution Eyeshadow Palette, were they concerning levels of PFAS? The Natio Eye Pencil had a total PFAS content of 440 micrograms per kilo, and the Revolution Eyeshadow Palette had 200 micrograms per kilo. Which is more than four times greater than the average level of PFAS in American cosmetics. Yes, in the ones that tested positive. And so what did the scientists at the lab have to say? He was surprised that any of them tested positive. Um, he thought that they would all come back negative. I pretty much thought most of them would have been less than detection these days. Sure, 10 years ago, you'd probably find it, but there's been such a, a lot of media interest about PFAS. I would have thought all of these would have been phased out by now. Have you reached out to the companies? What do they say? Do they just admit that they have PFAS? Do they deny it? Do they say that if it does, they'll change? What, what do you know? So I contacted Natio and um, first of all, they thanked me for um, drawing their attention to it. Um, and they asked me to send the results, which I've done, but um, so far they've declined to comment.